Good morning YouTube. Oh, it's a different angle from down below. Welcome to another What I Eat in a Day as a Raw Vegan. Before we get started, I just want to sit down with you and address some comments that I've been getting uh, quite a lot recently. And it's all to do with calories and how much I'm eating and if I'm starving myself and those sorts of things. So let's sit down. So I know the topic of calories and food consumption can be a really sensitive topic because there's so much conflicting information out there about this and also many people out there are struggling with or have struggled with an eating disorder where what food they eat and how much they eat and the calories, the numbers, um, all of that have really... Uh, taking control of their lives. Uh, I definitely know that feeling. I've been there. And I realized that a lot of people are drawn into analyzing what other people eat and how much they eat and their calorie consumption and nutrient consumption because they're still trying to figure that all out for themselves. And YouTube makes it very easy to analyze what others are eating um, with all these what I eat in a day videos. And for this reason, I really try to approach food and calories and how much I eat in a, what's the word? I don't know, uh, in a really light sort of way. I don't like to show too much of it in detail here on my YouTube channel because I don't want people drawn in to scrutinize and compare what I'm eating and how much I'm eating to themselves. I mean, I totally get it. I love watching what I eat in a day videos um, from other people and I think it's such a good way to get ideas and inspiration and motivation to eat healthy, wholesome foods. Um, but it's when you begin to really overanalyze and deeply compare what other people are eating to yourself. For the main reason being that we are all on our own unique path and we are all on a different point in our health journeys. Personally, I just find that there's t we're too like boxed in um, with all these rules when it comes to calories and how much um, we need to eat. You know, they say a woman must eat a minimum of 2,000 calories, a man must eat a minimum of 2,500 or 3,000, whatever it is. Um, and I really personally don't believe in, in those rules. Um, I believe that those rules set limitations and prevent us from truly finding um, our own unique balance when it comes to how much we need to eat. So I'm at a point in my health journey where I don't even think about calories anymore. I don't even consider how much I'm eating. Um, I'm not saying that tracking your calories is bad. I believe there's definitely a point in your health journey where it might be suitable for you. I totally tracked my calories back when I was recovering from an eating disorder and I believe it's important to do that to help to retrain your body and mind not to fear food. But now I've totally recovered from my eating disorder and I've been through a lot of detoxification and cleansing processes with my body and I'm at a point where uh, and my body is at a point where it can clearly communicate to me what it requires and I can clearly interpret those signs. And to be completely honest with you guys, over, the, over time I have found that I've naturally been needing to eat less. And I've come to realize that it's not how much you eat. Um, it's how much you absorb that matters. And I know this for a fact to be true because back in the beginning of my health journey, when I was really, really sick with chronic fatigue and IBS, um, I was quite underweight and all of the doctors and naturopaths that I was seeing were strongly recommending that I you know, doubled my intake of food to help me to put on weight. So I was eating so much food, like probably over, you know, close to 3,000 calories a day. Um, I was eating six meals, three main meals, and three snacks. And I was continuing to lose weight. 
and it was confusing at the time but now that I look back it makes so much sense because I was so sick and my body and my gut weren't absorbing the nutrients from what I was eating. It was just going straight through me. Whereas now my body is a lot cleaner and a lot more efficient and I eat, you know, twice a day, sometimes three times a day and I feel like I'm at a lot more of a healthier weight and I can just feel that my body is assimilating the nutrients from what I'm eating so much better. So you need to keep in mind that there are so many factors that affect what we eat. Um, your age, your gender, your activity levels, height, your weight, your body composition, how clean and efficient your body is, that's a huge one. Um, and obviously the type of foods that you're eating as well. I believe that raw fruits and vegetables are the ideal foods for human and I believe that when you're eating a high amount of these or 100% of your diet comprises of raw fruits and vegetables, um, depending on where you're at again in your health journey, you're not going to need to eat as much of them because your body recognizes them and absorbs and utilizes those nutrients so much better um, compared to cooked food um, and animal proteins which don't have as much nutritional value. Um, they've also lost a lot of their nutritional value from being cooked. So generally people need to eat um, more cooked food to meet their nutritional needs. So life is forever changing and um, you know I might need to start eating more if I increase my activity levels, if I want to build more muscle for example. Um, I'm just staying open, I'm just staying conscious about it all and going with the flow. And there are so many YouTubers that have incredible strength and the most amazing bodies and they eat once a day, sometimes twice a day. Um, there's even the strongest man in the world who eats one time a day. I'll leave the link to that video in the description below. Um, and then there's the breatharians, which I won't get into now. Um, but yeah, it just depends where you're at on your own unique health journey. So please don't stress, don't overanalyze things. If someone you're following on social media is eating a lot less than you or a lot more than you, don't worry about it. You just got to do your own thing um, and do what works for you at this time in your life. And yeah, just please keep all this information in mind before overanalyzing or comparing what someone else eats to what you eat because there are so many variables involved. So I really hope this clears things up for you guys and explains why I don't really give too much like of all the little itty bitty details about how much I eat and um, why I don't uh, put my food intake into chronometer for you guys. Uh, yeah. So any more questions about that, you can just leave them in the comments below. Uh, let's get this day started. We're making some juice. Surprise, surprise. So I bring a box from downstairs because all my fruit and veg are down in a fridge under the house because they don't fit up here. So for my juice today, I'm going to be using one pineapple, a couple of cucumbers, so that's some apples. And then I've also got some ginger, some mint, and I might throw a couple of kiwi fruit in because they just give it a really nice sort of sweet and sour taste. So it's a bit of a funny day today because I am going out tonight to an event at 6 o'clock. So it's about 1 o'clock now, so I'll have my one litre of juice now and then I might have another big juice before I leave or a smoothie depending on how I'm feeling or I might take a uh, juice with me to the event. So we'll see. My handy dandy gloves. Super sexy I know. <laughs> So I'm just about to go out to my event with 
some girlfriends. And before I go, I'm just gonna finish this almost one liter of juice. It's got pineapple, orange, and broccoli. Then I've got another small juice that I'm taking with me to the event tonight. Same ingredients. Then also bringing some kiwi fruit to munch on and this big box of dates. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe. I do new videos every Thursday and I will see you guys next week. Bye.